So, let me name a few battles through history that many of you may have never heard of, but are actually major events in Indian history. Now, you've all heard of Mahmud Ghazni and how he invaded India 17 years, for 17 times over 25 years. Now, if you read an Indian history book, you will get the impression that Mahmud Ghazni came, he invaded 17 times, a few years passed, and then, Mahmud, uh, and then Muhammad Ghori came in, he defeated Prithviraj Chauhan, and then, you know, the, the gates of India opened and we were conquered in one shot. In fact, nothing of that sort happened. There is a gap of one and a half centuries between Mahmud Ghazni and Muhammad Ghori. Why is there a 150 year gap between the two? And the reason for that <coughs> is that in 1033 AD, a very large Turkish army charged down from Afghanistan across the plains, across into the Gangetic plains and was met by a much smaller army led by a bunch of local chieftains from, <coughs> from that area. Uh, near what is now uh, 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 Faizabad, Ayodhya area and they fought a big battle and the, in, and the Indian side was led by a chieftain called Suhail Dev or Sukhdev Pasi and in that battle the Turks were completely destroyed. They were destroyed and decimated to such an extent that they did not dare come back in for another 150 years. This army was led by Mahmud Ghazni's uh, nephew who was killed in that battle. There's still a Mazar to him uh, in, in, in Bahraich. This is the Battle of Bahraich in 1033 AD. Now, no te Indian textbook will tell you about this. The only people who remember about this are the, the, the caste from which uh, Suhail Dev Pas uh, Pasi came from, the Pasis themselves. But other than that, pretty much nobody else remembers this. <coughs> 